Hey, everybody knows that AI is the rage, and I'm seeing an emerging trend in tools that allow you to take your long form video and they will cut them up into smaller clips of maybe 30 to 45 to 50 seconds. And the idea is that the AI is looking for the key sort of viral clips that you can use. And they will also transcribe. Now, I've been looking at different tools and this particular one, Content Groove, is in its infancy. So it can be a little bit basic. And I have been talking to the founders and they have said that they're going to put more interesting features in. So to me, this could be one of those hidden gems that will actually be a really good investment. So let's get in and have a look at Content Groove. Now, what you can do is you can upload your video or you can paste in a YouTube link. Now, please obviously only use your own videos. Don't paste in somebody else's video and start cutting up their videos for you to use because that wouldn't be very nice, okay? Um, but you can see here that I have a number of videos that I've uploaded and depending on the size of the video, it will take a maximum of 10 clips. Now, you might be asking, but Richard, hold on, why do you have 11 clips here and 14 clips there? That's because I've saved some of the clips that I actually want to use. The way any of these tools works is that it scans the video using its AI technology to find the best bits from your video. So it says here that I have three best bits from this video, and this video is very small. Uh, the Blue Monday of August. So if I click on that, it says this is 45 seconds long, and the other one is 43 seconds long. Um, it's transcribed the video here, and these markers allow me to change the start point of the video. So I might say, uh, today, I want to start it there. And now that video will allow me to save that clip. Now, the really important thing for me is that it has captions, and I want those fancy captions that highlight each word. As of yet, this software does not do that. Now, I've talked to the founders and they've put it on their roadmap that is gonna come in in the next couple of months. So that's, I mean, that's one thing that is uh, a con of this software. But if I click on captions here, you see it brings up captions and I have a small, a small leeway that I can actually use here. So I'm gonna put in font size and I can increase that. Uh, I can change the position. So this is down at halfway point. I'll change it up here. And when I play this video, you'll see where that goes. Now, if I wanna have that position up higher, I can just bring it up higher like that. I can actually have the background and I can have it that it's uh, uh, the translucency of it is that you don't see anything or that it has that nice black border around it. So the first con of Content Groove is that it doesn't do any type of highlighting when you're actually speaking, which I think is a necessity. So if the founders are watching this, you know I've asked you about this. Um, it also just gives you one font. They have told me that they are actually going to uh, bring this in on their roadmap, as I said. So I can go to save clip and that saves that clip up there. Now, this was the original clip that I had. And when I save those clips, I can then download them. So let me just go here. Uh, I don't want to save anything here. And if I go into the procrastination webinar, I can see that there's 10 AI generated clips. Why do you, what do you think about procrastination? And I have a download button there and I can download, I can download with captions. I can actually download the SRT or the caption file and I can also download the other version of the caption file here. Now, there's a couple of things that I like about this software. Um, they do have an app for Android and for um, iPhones. Uh, it is quite quick and easy to use. The downfall of this app for me at the moment is that it doesn't allow you to have animated captions. So that to me is something that I really want. And considering that they have a link that you can integrate into TikTok directly from the app, I mean, I think people expect those nice flashy captions. As I said, this is on their roadmap to include. Now, the other thing that I think is essential is when you click on crop, you can actually crop this for different screens if you wish. But here's the problem, that when I actually crop it, it just actually crops it like that. 
with other software that I've tried, it does intelligent cropping. So what it would do is it would put me on the top and my co-host down here, Scott on the bottom, because otherwise, I mean, it's not, a. it literally is just cropping. It's not allowing me to show both people at the same time. So that's another downfall. I mean, it's pretty much useless if I'm uh, going to be honest, unless it's just one person speaking. If it's two people speaking, this is not worth it at all. Now the big question is, should you buy this? Well, let me just show you the tier that I bought. Um, I actually bought, if I go to usage, the tier two. And it allows me to upload and transcribe 50 hours of video per month, which is more than what I actually need. But I always like to buy the second tier rather than just the first tier. It allows me to upload high resolution videos. In the in tier one, it's not high resolution videos, it's just 720. Uh, there's lots of different things that they tell you here. I mean, this is the most important. You do get 50 hours a month. Now, one of the things with this software is that after a certain amount of time, if I just go into see other plans here, um, the videos do actually expire. Okay, so after 180 days, it starts to delete those videos. So be very aware of that. Now, most of the actual software that I've tried actually does this. If you want, you can go for the tier three. Again, there is a link in the actual description, and this will allow you to do 100 hours and your videos have a lifetime of one year. And you can also have team sharing as well. So the bottom line, is this worth it? I think for $149, I think yes, it is worth it. I think there is um, a lot of potential in this app. And when they actually put in those animated subtitles, it's gonna rock. And also they're looking at the motion detection for the cropping. When they put that in, it's gonna be really good. Now I will be reviewing two other systems that I'm trying out uh, later on. So keep an eye on that. Make sure that you leave a comment if you have a comment and make sure that you ring that bell and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.